Welcome Sagittarius, I'm Juanita. Today we're going to be looking at um, the next two weeks for you, okay, and what it is that you need to be aware of and focus on. So we're using the Sacred Light, Light Oracle deck here and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get started Sagittarius. Feeling a little bit of anxiety. So let's have a look at what was going on for you right now. Okay. Cathedral of Light. Stubborn Attitudes. Extending the Olive Branch. Artistry. Okay. So there might be a bit of tension between yourself and someone else right now. Sagittarius. Um, I want to say... Just be mindful of, you know, and, and also, oh, well, hang on. Let me start with this first. This could be yourself or the other person. But I generally always talk um, as though it's you because this is your reading. Okay, so apply it as you will for a start. But I want to say, Sagittarius, be honest with yourself. Okay, if there's anything negative that comes up um, and you don't like it, don't be so quick to apply it to the other person. Okay, make sure you really are looking at yourself in all honesty and seeing, do I actually do that? Is that trait in me? You know, because um, it's so much easier to point the finger right than look at ourselves. But the more growth happens when we do look at ourselves and see how we might be doing that. Okay, so that said, someone is putting themselves on a pedestal. Um, putting themselves above other people or even one person, okay? Um, I feel like it really is time to see how this statue or this person here has got the sword to the side and then the shield to the side. So I think it's really about becoming open enough to call a truce, yeah? Um, I feel as though you may need to be the bigger person here. And just maybe see how you may have contributed to whatever has been going on. Okay? Be mature about it. Right? Make sure. Because I feel as though, see, and we've got the creator here. Really tap inside to this master of who you are. Right? Um, I, I feel like Sagittarius, it's a matter of seeing the bigger picture. And at the moment, potentially things might be quite narrow focused. Okay, so really tapping in to, to the truth, tapping into the truth of who you are, and coming in with a very mutual and calm state. Okay. Celestial channeling, hidden beauty, remain optimistic, stay neutral. Yeah, see? So that really is about that. Um, for some reason, the look on her face. I know, I kind of get this energy from this person sometimes that it's as though she might say, oh yeah, I'm cool, calm and collected, but the energy is different. So I do want to say, be aware of that. Um, you know, we talk about actions speaking louder than words, but I want to say vibration speaks loud, very loud as well. Okay, um, surrender. Surrendering is the key. Look at the key on her arm and her arm's up here, right? Listening. Really listening and not um, judging or not ready to defend. Just listening, taking on board what is being said. And like I say, be honest with yourself. You know, is, is what has been said true? Okay. Um, success. Yeah. This could very well, taking this attitude could lead to success okay and and one that is definitely worth celebrating i want to say really rise above 
rise above, be the bigger person, Sagittarius. That's not to say put up with anything that anyone's dishing out to you. I don't mean it like that. Um, but I just feel like you need to be that bigger person, to be honest with you, in this situation. It's really coming across quite strongly. And when you do do that, celebrate yourself. You know, just quietly. It doesn't have to be like, oh yeah, I did that, you know. You can just do it quietly. I don't imagine you would, but you know. Um, just kind of take the time to pat yourself on the back and go, good job. You know, and... and yeah, just have faith that, that, you know, you can, this, this fighting, whether this is internal or external, you know, it, this can be dissolved, okay, it could very well be what needs to happen, Sagittarius, because I feel like both parties may be quite stubborn here, and, you know, there's, both are going, I'm not giving in, well, I'm not giving in, and they said this, and they said that, and blah, 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 you know, no one's willing to let the guard down, and it could very well be that you need to take the armour off, okay, because it feels like this may have been going on for some time, and it's becoming a little bit weary, and, um, and quite heavy, and you're tired of wearing the armour, um, and you really want to just kind of let it go, um, but again, just not letting the stubbornness get in the way from making that first move, you know, and even if it's that you need to apologise, at least for your side of things and how you've behaved, you may not get that reciprocated, you may not get an apology back, but at least you know you have done what you can to smooth the waters. <laughs> you just heard someone go, oh, I'm not apologising to them. <laughs> So that's the kind of thing that you need to work on, Sagittarius. Temple of Mary, emotional expression, playful innocence, exploitation. Expressing yourself emotionally, taking off the armour and becoming vulnerable. Yeah. Allowing your heart to connect with your higher self, to bring forth the best um, expression the best words, the best way of putting things, the best facial expressions, so that everything you're delivering is true to your heart. Don't go and make an apology that you don't mean. Make sure it's true to your heart because that will, um, you know, be visible and, and felt by whoever it is being delivered to, okay? And if someone's coming to you, to extend this olive branch and do this with you. Um, try not to be defensive. Try to allow them to come in and um, and speak and give that them the you know the credit that is um, fairly due to them having the courage to do that, right? Sharing. sharing your light yeah um interesting this is very i've got patience here as well okay so i feel like something has been growing and i feel as though something this could be to do with a child um I feel as though there's this need to end this cycle of um, of this tension. It's not serving anyone and it's time to start. It's, it's like during this time you've grown and you may have gained knowledge and you may have ga gained skills that you can now share with um with, I want to say this other party, but I actually want to say with the world, okay, as to how to overcome um, these internal battles or even external battles. This is interesting, Sagittarius, very interesting. We have Lord Mal Chizedek. I call him Lord Mal because it's easier to pronounce. 
indecision, ego-based actions, lifestyle change. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you may not be sharing the knowledge. You may be holding back, potentially. Um, so this could very well be saying to embrace this energy, right? Have patience. Allow things to take their course. Allow things, you know, it could be that you say, for example, apologize to someone or whatever, um, and it might just take them a while to absorb that and come around, yeah, because they might get on the defense straight away and be like, well, you said the or whatever. So just allow that to be processed and to be absorbed, okay? Um, definitely letting go of that ego, 100% for sure, okay? Um, and just looking at what it is in your life that you can change, okay? Because I feel like something needs to be nurtured here. It could very well be you. It could be you that you need to have patience with. It could be, you know, this could be something that you have been fighting yourself. And um, you need to give yourself a bit of a break and step back and just, you know, allow to have some rest and trust. Trust the process, Okay, trust in your ability to take the lead, I feel. Um, you know, that sense of anxiety and even nervousness, I suppose, of actually being the one to take that leap. Okay, um, I feel like that is something that needs to, you need to have faith in yourself, okay? Um, rebirth. Look at this. Beautiful. I love this. I, lo I love this card. I love a rebirth because it's kind of like, <sighs> okay, something has been stored for a really long time, okay, and it's, um, it's coming out and you have the ability, the ability to let um, this come out, not as a roaring lion, but as a beautiful harmonic tune you have that ability you just have to trust because i feel like some of you want to come out roaring okay because it's been shoved down for so long um but i want to say work on transmuting that like don't um not acknowledge those emotions let them come up for your own healing for your own um acknowledgement Okay, and address that 100%, don't suppress it. But what I'm saying is, look at then how you can transmute that into a beautiful tune. Okay, awareness, having this awareness of what is going on inside yourself, looking at how certain things are triggering you and what you're doing with those, okay? So really looking deep, deep, deep inside Sagittarius so that you can do things differently and have a different outcome because what has been going on before um, is only going, you know, if you continue along that same path with the same um, shoes, you're going to end up in the same at the same destination. You need to change the path and change the shoes to go in a different direction. Interesting way of putting it, but anyhow. Um, I wasn't expecting that to come out like that. Ascension flame, liberation, a greater sense of purpose, high expectations. Have high expectations on yourself. Expect yourself to come across as the creator, to come across as this master you know without being cocky right do that internally because as you can see this dude sitting here he's not like i'm i know everything and so you know nothing you know he's he's actually just sitting in that um that space of his awareness yeah so allow that to come out from you okay sharing sharing your knowledge, sharing, you know, in a really beautiful, kind way, okay, um, and I feel as though this is going to help you rise up, it will help you rise above the situation in a way that maybe you can see things from a different perspective, and maybe you can see how the other party may very well feel the way they feel, you know, and, um, 
And actually, you know, it could be very well be the case of putting yourself in their shoes. Ah, that's why that came up before. You, it's like needing to put yourself in their shoes, to walk their path, to have at least an experience to a certain degree, even if it is only imagined, to where they might be coming from. Okay, absorb yourself in that. Okay, um... I feel as though that that could be quite necessary for you to gain empathy um, and to, to really have that understanding, okay? Because I do feel as though for you, it is up to you to lead the way. It is up to you to live by example. And you have that light inside of you. You know, this ascension flame is this light inside of you so by doing this right leading the way with your light yeah um then that that will help for you to actually grow and ascend in your own life okay like lord mal has this crystal here and i feel like asking him for that support to help you along this journey Okay, you don't have to do it purely by yourself just because we have aloneness and just because we have trust to individuals. You can ask for this external help, um, but it's knowing, tapping into that place inside of you that has that knowingness so that you can get to where it is you want to go because I feel like this is, you, you want the outcome, um, but... It's accepting that the work needs to be done and it may very well be up to you to do that work, okay? And at least then the outcome of peace is within you because you know you've put that effort in and that effort may not come to fruition for a while, okay? You may need to be patient with that. Um, the other thing with the sharing, I feel like this could be a sharing your emotions, okay? Um... Divine creation, acceptance, personal commitments, euphoria. Yeah, um, I feel like, <laughs> I really like this card. I love the wings at the back there. And it's kind of like, to me right now, she's doing all these different movements. And she's like, oh, does, does that work? And, you know, she's in her own world trying out what it is that works to, to kind of get that energy flowing in a sense, I feel. Um and, and this could be about your life journey and your personal commitment to the mission that you're on in this lifetime to work out what's going to work here and what's not. You know, so honouring that, um, that commitment that you've made to this path, yeah? Letting go of the things that you no longer need to hold on to, walking away, you know, the walking away from... Um, I want to say mindsets that are not serving you because have a look here, Sagittarius. You see, each droplet that falls from this leaf, yeah, is um, it creates this ripple effect. And I feel like each droplet represents either a word said or a thought thought. So really thinking about the impact on those two things, okay, uh, the vibration that is put out from that, and being very mindful about that, okay. Mm. Suppression, interesting. I f yeah, I feel like your thoughts are weighing heavy on your mind and they're keeping you tied up for some reason and you really want to break out of this. It's like this could be a recurring thought pattern and you really want to break free from it. Um, so again, I want to come back to this awareness. You know, it could be that you don't, yeah, see, and even this, right? It's like this is this reoccurring 
thing that happens inside of you and you're trying to suppress it so it doesn't rear its ugly head. And it really is about being creative, divine creation, calling on this divine creation, asking for the Lord Mao to come help you, okay, to transmute that into a beautiful song, okay, using this ascension flame, like actually imagining yourself Sagittarius soaked in this flame, like sitting there and just imagine this massive flame of ascension around you to transmute and dissolve those energies which are weighing heavy on you, okay? Tibetan fire serpent, wow, it's like burn that. <laughs> um, seeking a higher truth, yes, discernment, a better path, authority, have discernment about what is going on in your head, okay, what these thoughts are, where they came from, be discerning about that. Do I really need that? Is that thought helpful to me right now? Is that going to help the situation? Okay, really think about how it's making you feel. If it's making you feel angry and worked up, is this serving me? Is this serving my higher purpose? Is this going to help me get to my highest truth? Okay, really stand that ground. You know, here's this light again. Let this light ignite your heart. Let this ignite your passion to dissolve all these things that are not allowing you to get to this place of peace that I feel like you are heading towards. You know, when I'm talking about this other party or this other person, this could be internal in you. This could be an internal battle that is going on. You know, this good angel and this not so good angel sitting on your shoulder maybe. You know, you could have Gemini in your chart where these two are, uh, you know, having a little thing. Um... Yeah, so, you know, I do feel as though you do have this better path waiting for you, Sagittarius, and this is just helping you um, with ways to start walking that better path, and that's so cool that that's come up, because just before I was talking about walking the path with, you know, a, a different path with a different set of shoes, yeah? Um, oh, we want to look into this further. I'm getting carried away here. <laughs> Okay, so possibilities, yes, yeah, seeing what possibilities are out there, rising above, of you know, this eagle is, is rising above the terrain um, to see what options he has to seek out his prey. Okay, I'm not saying to go attack anyone, what I'm saying is to really rise above. Okay, so you can see things a bit clearer, and you can see both sides of the coin here, okay. And projection looking at, at how it is that he, oh this is yeah this is about this energy again this vibration okay these people are sitting here and the look on their faces is could be taken as quite calm but the energy is really aggressive and that does get picked up on and so whatever energy you're putting out there Sagittarius is what is going to be reflected back to you so if you're getting this um thrown at you left right and center be aware of what is going on within you because if this suppression is going on and you're having this battle in your mind you're going to get external battles coming towards you Okay, so yeah, it was an interesting one because again, this card, I haven't got that from that before. Energy medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility and deep rest. Yep, allow yourself time to be nurtured. You know, if it's going and getting a massage, if it's sleeping in, if it's taking a day off work, if it's, you know, taking a week off work, really allow yourself um, to start to tap in to what it is that you would like to create in your life, okay? Calling on, again, divine creation, Lord Mao, calling on them, the ascension flame, to come in and to heal you, to help you throughout this process um yeah i do feel like some of you could very well be quite hard on yourselves okay yep the energy is very intense and you can feel that and it's like you can't shake it and this energy medicine here you might want to seek an energy healer get some reiki um, anything that appeals to you to go and get um, some treatments for yourself to just 
help the intensity dissipate somewhat, if not completely. Okay, these cards are, I do feel like, yeah, I see, I feel this anxiety coming back again, like, think it, you know, you might want to practice some breath work, okay, so that you can really regulate your breathing to calm your anxiety, to bring those cortisol levels down, because I feel like things are quite, yep, yeah, go into the silence to really calm yourself. Okay, because I do feel like some of you are quite very tense um, and you just need to take that time for you and you might not feel like you even have time, um, but five minutes, honestly, you know, have a look on YouTube and find breath work or meditations or something along those lines. Okay, so that you can really start to work on yourself to give yourself that time of day that you deserve. And that you desperately need. Okay, cosmic wave. Yeah, so this is really about these, you know, the vibration that you're putting out. Because this is about new friendships, preparation and custodians. So looking at, you know, when you're emitting a certain vibration, you're going to attract certain people into your life that match that vibration. So these are ways to increase this vibration so that you can start to offload Sagittarius so that those, you know, situations and people that you're attracting towards you are um, are a, a different level, okay? It's, it's walking this new path. You're going to meet different people along the way, right? And that's what you want. You don't want to be meeting the same old people, uh, you know, along the same old path to the same destination. It's time to change it up now. Okay, and you're ready for that. And I feel like there's this sense of conviction on this woman's face, like, yeah, I know exactly who I am and exactly what I'm doing here. You know, and um, yeah, I feel as though this is really about you. I'm just seeing a card, the rebel. Um, and I feel like, I thought it was here, but it's not. Um, but I feel like this is about you breaking those old chains of um, keeping yourself, for some of you, keeping yourself small, okay? Um, yeah, I... I just keep getting rising above just rise above because she's coming out of the cloud here you don't actually see the rest of her body she's like above the clouds so this is rising above yeah um and and that really also is about increasing that vibration to such a degree that any any of this dense and negative energy um is is not going to be able to reach you okay um so yeah Comparison, not comparing yourself to other people, okay, and not, again, I want to come back to this card of not um, having that um, thing of like being better than anyone else, okay, um, and you could very well raise your vibration, beware of any toxic spirituality that, well, I'm doing this, so, hey, I've got it over them, no, nah, that's not what it's about, Okay, uh, and if anyone around you is doing that, then, you know, just kind of like be discerning with that, you know, um, that, yeah, I've got like so many cards just falling out here, let me just put them back and get one more, because <laughs> then I'm like, is that what is meant to come out? <laughs> Again, okay, this time, Sagittarius. Thank you. The dream. Heading towards your dream. Yep. I feel as though this is you here. Sorry, this is you here dreaming this. You. This is what you want. This is your aim. This is your destination. So you have to change the path. Okay, you have to change the mindset. You have to change the vibration in order to get this because this vibration here is not going to get you this. Okay. Um, so this is really paramount for you to start working on this over the next two weeks 
in order to, you know, that destination may not be here in the next two weeks. Okay, the idea, Sagittarius, is to get you working towards that over the next two weeks so that you're on your way. Okay, so yeah. Okay, Sagittarius, I will leave that with you. Take care of yourselves and happy vibing. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye.